Yeah, I did. All right. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is uh, Saturday morning, and I woke up two and a half hours late. So we are getting started a little bit late today, but hopefully if everything goes well and I remember how everything works, we should be able to do this job relatively easily. So what we're doing here is we are replacing uh, our brake rotors, which as you can see right there, well, it's the whole brake. So, so we're replacing all the brakes, um, rotors and pads. Uh, I'm not replacing the calipers because I just replaced them a while back. Um, first thing we need to do though is get the toolbox out of the garage. So that's where I'm headed right now. Um, if you guys saw my last video, you saw it got reorganized recently and uh and that was all hold on that was just so that i was prepared for today and everything can go smoothly because i you believe it or not you work more efficiently with a clean workspace and toolbox so um i have a few things i need to gather so i'm gonna get them and then i'll get right back with you guys soon all right so uh we're back here as you can see we got the toolbox out there the whole thing um we got our jack and jack stands and we got two cardboard boxes and a big sheet of cardboard here this one is to go on the ground underneath and catch all the rust and things that fall off of the truck while i'm working on it and these two boxes here are to put parts in out of the middle of these hubs which are very small and important parts and if i miss if i'm losing or missing one of them um that's a problem and that means i can't drive so we are going to get started on this. I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up and probably put on a time lapse um, until I decide to not put it on a time lapse. All right, guys, so as you saw there, I just pulled the wheel off and this is what we're working with. Um, <clears throat> this is the hub. This is the part we'll be taking off. But first we have to pull off the brake caliper and uh, then we have to take out the center hub to get the hub off to put the new rotors on. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll time lapse it for you and uh, yeah, we can go from there. All right, everybody, as you can see, we have the brake caliper on the five gallon bucket so we don't pull on that line, uh, the brake line there. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling the hub out. This is a really pretty long process. Um, you'll see me pull a bunch of parts out of it and get a bunch of tools out because it takes like 12 different tools to get these hubs off. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna split the rotor and the hub, which is gonna take a fat minute. And I might not film that part because it's gonna be annoying. Um, but luckily we have uh, new lugs and new rotors to um, put on. So that should be easy and that should go together really quick and then it should all go back together pretty, uh, pretty smoothly, hopefully. Uh, the coming apart is always the hardest part of everything, but getting it back together is usually pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and time-lapse that. Um So um, as you just saw there, I uh, took the hub and what you call it, rotor off the truck. So this is what it all rides on. The bearings ride on this, which is the spindle. Um, and this is the CV shaft or axle shaft that comes from the front differential. Um, but as you can see, I have this taped off so the grease inside does not get uh, dust and dirt in it. Um, we try and we want to keep the, uh, the rusty, dusty, dirty stuff out of the grease because if we don't, it will get on all of these parts and absolutely destroy them and uh, that would not be good this stuff is all pretty expensive um, especially these bearings and these little pieces not so much because they spin with the axle uh, but this four-wheel drive locker would be expensive um, these these bearings are pretty expensive and uh, yeah and these spindles I'm sure are ridiculously expensive so we want to try and keep everything all clean and not dirty so what I think I'm gonna do 
is close up this box like that for now and label it uh, driver's side. And that way I know that this is the driver's side and all of the parts are in there and they will be clean and stay away from dirt um, from the outside air settling on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape that box up and then I will go into a time lapse of knocking this rotor off of the hub. Hopefully it goes smoothly. If it does, then hey, I'll just hit the other side today. I was planning on today for one side and tomorrow for the other, but it's all going smoothly right now. So I'm gonna see, uh, see what we can do. Hopefully it goes well and I can get both sides done today. That would be absolutely amazing. All right, guys, I'll catch you in a minute. Well, that went much better than expected. I was expecting those uh, studs to be absolutely seized into there, um, which they weren't, which is really good for me. Um, so now I'm going, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change the way I have the tops of these. I'm gonna use all tape across the top um, on the, the hub, this piece right here. This is the hub, by the way. Um, what I'm gonna do is tape across here and I'm going to actually clean up and repaint this whole hub, it's getting uh, getting painted gloss black, um, like the like the new rotor right there. I don't know if you can see that right here. But you can see the whole face and sides of this are gloss black. The back is not painted at all, um, which is okay. It's gonna get covered in brake dust and rust anyway, but this paint should prevent these two pieces from sticking together. So, I'm gonna go ahead and find a wire brush and uh, some brake clean and hit all of this and uh yeah so we'll scrub it up and then uh, i'll paint it and i'll uh, film that for you guys but uh, i'm not going to film the cleaning it up because it's going to take a while so i'll catch you guys in just a minute all right guys so that was the uh as you saw in the beginning of the time lapse i don't know how long it'll be there but uh that's the rust-oleum uh rust reformer and what that does is it takes the rust and basically reverses the oxidization and turns it back into metal. Um, and so that says it needs a 24 hour dry time, unfortunately. Uh, but I think we're just going to go a couple hours and let it dry to the touch. And then um, we'll put another, we'll put, um, here's, here's the process. So we have Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer and then we'll do um, Exo Rust. Okay, so I got, I got some stuff to say about this paint. So I found this paint at a local uh, local farm store. And it was like $3.99 or $4.99 a can. Okay, I'm like, oh, that cannot be good paint at all. So I did some Google searching because I like Rust-Oleum. I like Rust-Oleum and I like um, Magic Farm and Implement paint. So I like both of the Rust-Oleum and Magic's Farm and Implement paints. And so I found this Exo Rust, which is a truck, tractor, and implement paint, as you can see right here. And I looked it up and they have nothing but good reviews. I've never seen a bad review. And so I bought their um, their quick dry primer. This is a direct to metal primer, which isn't, a, uh, isn't needed for us because we have this rust reformer, but this rust reformer does turn rust into metal. So I like direct to metal primer for anything with auto parts. Um, and then we have this paint, this gloss black paint. This is actually what I painted the back hubs with on the truck. Um, as you can see right here, this nice gloss black, which is dirty because, um, you know, drum brakes make a lot of dust. Um, that paint is really good. It's held up really well. That's been on there for a couple months and it has no nicks, no chips, nothing like that. It's not peeling or flaking and it was not put on nice metal. That metal was rough. I rust reformed it, primed it, and then did the exact same thing I'm doing to these. So once this, I'm going to let this dry for a couple minutes and then we are going to put some, well, a couple hours, I should say. And then we're going to put some direct to metal primer on it. This is just gray primer. It doesn't matter what color the primer is. It'll be covered by paint. Um, but this is primer so that the paint will adhere better to the metal. And so once that's done, I think this is just a couple minutes. Um, let me see here. Yeah, recoat within uh, one hour. And I don't know, I don't see a dry time. But, so yeah, so we're gonna um, put this on here in a couple hours once that is dry to the touch. And it, it will set up eventually, it won't set up perfectly. Um, once I put the primer on it, it'll take a lot longer. But eventually it will set up and then after the primer's dry, we'll go ahead and throw two coats of paint on it. 
um, just to make sure it's good coated so that the outside looks nice. I'm not so worried about the backside where the rotor is because it's going to get greasy and nasty anyway from the axle and uh, the hub and the brakes. So um, not too worried about that. So I'm not going to paint that part. I'm just painting the front that you're going to see. Um, yeah, so I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to go ahead and change the front brake pads here on the driver's side. Um, I buy... Personally, I like to buy really nice stuff. Now, these are not by any means Brembo or Willwood or anything like that, high-performance brakes, but they are a premium um, brake kit. These are SST by Bendix. This is syn uh, System Synergy Technology. Um, as you can see, premium friction kit right here. Um, these are for my truck. Uh, these are pretty expensive, actually. Uh, they come wrapped individually. I'll show them to you here. I mean, they just look like a brake pad, but as you can see, they're nice and thick. Uh, my other brake pads aren't quite as thick. Well, they might be pretty close, but they are cracked because the rotors got hot and warped. So I am gonna replace them because I'm putting new rotors on, not because they're cracked. Um, so, I mean, they should be replaced if they're cracked, whatever, but it's fine. I buy these SST. This is what I bought for the back two, for the back drums um, and shoes. I bought SST, their premium brake system and uh yes that's what i buy so i'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this um i don't think i need to show you how to change brake pads they're pretty self-explanatory they go in and go out so yeah i'm gonna do that real quick All right, guys, so here's what I was talking about. Here is the brand new um, SST pad by Bendix right here. Um, you can see it's nice and it's uh, it's smooth. And you can see this one where it's got cracks here and here and all throughout it. Um, I'll give you a little better close up here. You can see all the cracking and the uh, the markings in it. Uh, the grooving is really deep. Uh, I know that you can see it on there. It's pretty deep. Um, and that's not good. So that's because the rotors warped and got hot and it cracked these pads because the rotors were warped and every time the pads would hit it, it would basically be doing this inside the caliper. Um, or it would act like that. The pad material would act like that and that's why it cracked. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these nice brand new Bendix in there. And um, they also, in the, uh, in the brake kit from Bendix, they sent me new, uh, new runners for the brake calipers and they also sent some brake grease right here um yeah so we just need a little bit of this this is just to help it slide and so that the uh, brakes don't hang up on the on the sliders there and uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and time lapse putting this all together real quick so that you guys can see it um i know it'll be fast and you won't really be able to see it but you'll be able to see it so here we go just kidding. Before I forget, I wanted to paint these parts at least. Um, that part's going to be hard to paint because you have to tape off so much stuff. So I'm not going to paint that, but I am going to paint these braces, these brackets here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clean these up real quick. And uh, I'm not going to film any of that just because it's going to be the same old, same old. And this video is going to be about an hour long. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and drop a like on this video because that is the best thing you can do to help this channel out. Um, I also looked the other day and like 60% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It would really help and it would really make me happy. I go to college in uh, like three weeks and I'd love to have 100 subscribers before I go to college. So if you enjoy my content and uh, this is something that you enjoy watching, go ahead and share it. Um, but also make sure you subscribe too. Thanks guys. All right guys, just a little update here. We got the... Uh the caliper um, bracket here all painted up um, with the rust reformer and we have the hub now primed and that should sit for a little while um, a little while longer I just painted it so in about a half hour or so I'll go repaint both of those the um, caliper bracket I think I might leave just the rust reformer so I'm just gonna let that dry up and then uh, that hub will get painted the gloss black to match the back and that will hopefully look really nice um yeah guys so uh, just stay tuned i might go ahead and start on the other side real quick 
um, get it all taken apart because that should take a while. So uh, if I get that done, then we'll be in good shape because then I can just put this side back together, get the finished paint on the other side, and then just we'll just go back together and then we'll be done in one day. That'd be wonderful. So hopefully I don't have any troubles with the other side caliper. I did not replace that one. I only replaced the driver's side. So hopefully it's not all locked up, which it wasn't last time I, uh, last time I uh, took this all apart. So fingers crossed that uh, it'll all work out. Catch you guys in a while. All right, guys, just a little update here. Um, as you can see, we got the, maybe you can't see, maybe you can't. We got the uh, caliper brace here, um, all painted. As you can see, there's a little spot that got missed because of where the string was, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Um, and we got the new sliders on there. And here's our new pads. We have them right here and our grease, but I'm waiting for the other side brake caliper brace here. Um, I took it off and have it all painted up. It is currently drying right now. So, uh, yeah, and then, uh, so we're at a halt for a while. I'm probably gonna have to take about an hour break, maybe grab some lunch, um, cause it is about 12.30, 12.45, something like that. I started this at 10.30ish in the morning and I was expecting one side because of my previous experience with working on this truck. I was expecting this to be a two day job, but turns out two hours later, I'm almost done. So I just need to get things painted up and let it all dry and then it, it'll all just go back together. And then we do a test drive uh, for the front brakes to make sure they are stopping. And uh, after that, golden, we're done. And then uh, on Monday, there will be another video uh, pertaining to exhaust. So I will put a sneak peek out on Instagram of that. And uh, yeah, so check in the description for my Instagram. Again, guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I really appreciate if you've watched this far. I know it's been a long-winded video, but we're almost done here. Hopefully, uh, I'll not, I won't film anymore until it all goes back together, and I'll just time-lapse that so you guys can see, uh, see that process, um, even though it'll be like 50 times the speed. But as of right now, we have one hub completely painted. We're waiting for it to dry. We have the second hub over there. It is... Uh, it's got rust reformer on it right now. And then if you remember from previous, we have primer and paint left to do on that. So we're gonna come over here and talk to the dog because she is whining like crazy. If you haven't ever watched my channel before, you haven't ever seen her. This is Kimber. This dog right here, this is Kimber. She is uh, about nine months old or 10 months old. She's an English Springer Spaniel. And she is so much fun. She'll be one huh. on August 26th. She'll be one on August 26th, as Lucas just said. You probably heard that. Um, so, yeah. That's that, guys. I'll catch up with you in a little while. What's up, guys? Uh, it's Sunday now. Um, the rest of this video, every clip before this, took place yesterday on Saturday and uh it was all about the brakes and the rotors and the hubs and all that fun stuff so um yeah so obviously oh i wonder if i just showed her license plate i might have to blur that out um obviously guys um the truck is back together and everything is all picked up as you can see here we have both sides done um fresh black paint obviously it doesn't look great because i had to put the wheel back on and it got scratched a little bit but that's okay um, I got it done. Everything works. I did have to do a little bit of custom fabrication. The reason I did not film the rest of this uh, video yesterday is simply because I got frustrated at things not going well when I was putting it back together. Um, I ended up having to take both sides apart multiple times to get it back the way it should be and I got a little bit frustrated and I just wasn't in the mood to film it at that point and then I had my good buddy and neighbor Trevor's um graduation party so that was at four o'clock and that was pretty much uh, right as I was finishing up and getting the tools back in the garage so <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed the video everything works fine um I will have to adjust this mirror right here because uh I kind of smacked it with my shoulder yesterday um but that's totally irrelevant truck drives great um because those rotors were warped and the pads were cracked and grooved, when I would do a hard brake from like 50 miles an hour trying to stop fast, um, I would get a lot of wobble in the steering wheel from those rotors being warped. And that wobble is totally eliminated. The truck stops a little bit quicker with those fronts being fresh on uh, on rotors and pads. Um, so 
It's all good, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and drop a like on this video because that is the best thing you can do to boost me in the algorithm. So, oh, look, Kimber joined us again. Yay! Hi, doggy. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> all right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day.